for you. No, this ain't a Rosslinger, bro. This ain't a Rosslinger has definitely this little, this Charleston, this Charleston way and Aiden Ross situation is going, is on a mad one, bro. I haven't talked about Aiden Ross like, since I believe for like two months now. But the last time I talked about him was when he showed his uh, showed his viewers his, you know, showed his viewers porn. But since then, he's done the most weirdest stuff. Like, he's interviewed a lot of people, he's interviewed a lot of people, he interviewed the fat transgender who transitioned, transitioned into a man to a woman, but I'm still identifying, identifying her as a man. No, I'm saying the fucking fat piece of shit. Anyways, um, yeah, the Charleston White and Aiden Ross situation is crazy. Charleston White, Aiden Ross. Uh, interviewed Charles the Wayne on a Discord call like once. The f- first time it was on a regular Discord call. Aiden Ross was, was asking him very controversial questions, very like a lot of questions about how, why you so controversial and all the other shit. You know the basic questions like why do you hate why do you hate dudes why do you hate whites and like why why do you only affiliate yourself to black people and I'm, and just Charles the Wayne obviously answered that. In the best way you could, and the, like you don't want to fuck with the whites because why? What, what they did to us? You don't want to fuck with other, other any other race because you stick to your own race. Obviously, I disagree disagree with that. It's kind of I don't fully disagree with that, but I understand his point. Like you stick to your own race and all that stuff. But like, like it's 2023. Diversity diversity is everywhere. It's it's almost impossible to stick to your own race without seeing some Asian walking past you. But if you live in if you live in the UK America, it's impossible to live to live to live with your own race unless there are in America there are certain streets that are like hood like it's only black people so it makes sense. But in the UK, it's filled with Asians, filled with Arabs, filled with different ethnic groups. So it's it's impossible to stick with your own race if you're in the UK. So I understand uh, Charleston White's viewpoint, but obviously I disagree with it to, to an extent. But he's obviously asking a lot of questions, but there's one question where Aiden Ross asked where he said talked about King Von. King Von is a he's a rapper that died. he's a rapper that got that got shot. He was like a, one of the most like really a famous rapper. He was a very hard, pretty good rapper. I never heard of the song, but I heard he was a very good rapper. I never heard of the song though, but it was, I heard he was a pretty good rapper. And I think the I think the reason or one of the one of the reasons where Charles Stewart got famous was because he disrespected King Von. He was saying King Von's a bitch, all that other shit. King Von deserved to die. And Aiden Ross like confronted him about it, saying, "Oh, why are you saying it? Oh, what are you saying? Why are you why are you just thinking one? That's my boy, but I listen listen to this song. I used to listen to it, listen to, used to listen to him. And Charles the White got the best comeback of all time. He said, like, nigga, you, you listen to you listen to your killer. He, he got famous for killing people. He got famous for killing people. And if you think about it, he, he's not lying. He got famous for killing people, bro." Like he's a killer. Like a lot of the, a lot of these people who listen to him, that he, they, like he's a murderer. A lot of these people that listen to listen to King Von, like yeah, well, well, I'm a stripper bitch, put my dick inside, yeah, stab these people, shoot people. He's a killer. He's a murderer. So if you're if you if you support King Von and all that other shit, that means you're you 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 support killers. You support murderer. And I think his body was like nine. Did I think he killed like nine people or something? And then after he got killed, I mean. And Charleston White had, had like, and, and Charleston White talked to one of the victims' mo- mothers. It's his mother's bro. I Aiden was like, he, he he just stood silent. He was like, he was like, oh shit, cause it's fucked. It's it's the truth. Like bro, he's a murderer. Like you know what I'm saying? The same as joke. He's a literal murderer, bro. So, for Aiden Ross was to, to be saying that, it's kind it's kind of you know insensitive in a way. But I'm not trying. That's not the main point, though. Charleston White, Charleston White invited into Las Vegas, and they were planning to do a kick deal. Like Charleston White was in was in was in Las Vegas, was in Las Vegas, and Aiden Ross was like doing like a live stream, of course, like he live streams everything, like an IRL live stream, on on kick. But that issue, Charleston White had beef with Aiden Ross's friend named Prime. In Prime, you know what I'm saying. But Prime, when they when they when they first met, Prime said, "Oh, you talking about you talking about talking about my cousin King One, like and all that other shit." And they almost had a fight, but obviously King Charles don't work on that fucking spray, got that fucking gas spray or whatever he had. You know what I'm saying? But they were sitting down, and then Charles don't kept saying, "Well, you're on my dick, you're on my dick, you get, you get," and they almost had a fight. But 
that was that was crazy in itself. That almost had a fight, but that was crazy in itself. But Aiden Ross, I'm pretty sure Aiden Ross knew that Prime had a, had beef with King One. And all these, and some, I love these black rappers. I love these black people from America. Obviously, had issues with King One. So him bringing Prime out of all people, Aiden Ross knew there was going to be issues. Aiden Ross saying there wasn't going to be saying, oh, I didn't know that I didn't know there was going to be issues. With bullshit. Why would you bring Prime out of all people to be with Charleston White? Why couldn't you bring anyone else? Why did you have to bring anyone in? The, you know what I'm saying? Like, why did you have to bring anyone in the first place? It doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, the point I'm trying to make is, he knew there was going to be issues. He knew, he knew there was going to be clicks. He knew there was going to be money flow. So, the point the point is that Aiden Ross knew. But after all of this, Charles Tau had had an interview, and he was talking about how there was a ritual going on. Like, they were, they were planning to do a ritual. And it makes perfect sense, because obviously Charleston White had a big issue. Said he said he was in a R-word, Aiden Ross girl or some shit. He was going crazy. They were trying to make Charleston White the bad guy, which is understandable. But I just, because Charleston Charleston White said the most says the most controversial shit, the most crazy controversial shit ever, which I understand. But at the same time, it's Charleston White. He's been saying the most controversial shit for like years now. But Charles White had an interview and he was explaining how this this life this, this uh, trip was like a, a kick deal, which makes sense obviously because he went to kick I went to Las Vegas and then if he, after the stream he would, would have a kick deal. But he said, oh, oh, he said, oh, we're gonna do like a shoppers day. We'll 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 give you everything. We'll we, you, anyone else will buy you everything. We'll, we'll, and all of that and, and all of that other shit. And he was like, nah, why do, why do you mean a shopping spree? That's some weird shit. And a lot of these YouTubers, like, a lot of these, you know, famous streamers, whenever they whenever they find a, a fan, or whenever they find someone like an upcoming YouTuber, whatever, small YouTuber, they always do a shopping spree. They always buy them whatever they want. And then after, they get, they get a kick deal. Or whatever, they get like a huge streaming deal, or whatever. But they change their content in a bit. Like, the, the, like the Ray situation. Ray, Ray, Ray coincidentally find, find, found Kaisner. And after that, on the same day, Kaisner did a crazy shopping spree. And I was, now Ray is going to become a new up and coming um, Twitch streamer or whatever. And he's going to have to, he's going to act, do this, probably the same content as, as, as Kaisner. He's probably going to see, uh, he's probably going to have to, like, Say some stuff that he doesn't feel like saying. You know what I'm saying? But Charleston White is saying that he didn't want to do the shopping spree, and it when he went in, when he went to certain rooms, it looked like a ritual. It makes sense. Aaron Ross has sold himself to the devil. Like he crazy, he crazy how he went bold for no reason. He went bold. He did. He, he made some progress. After a couple months, he, he after a couple months, he, he went and drank lean. And now he's fucked up. And now he's saying, I'm getting better. You haven't gotten better. You're a degenerate. You're a degenerate fuck. Okay, you still, you're probably, you're probably, Aiden Ross is probably still drinking lean. Aiden Ross is probably still, still doing, still smoking, still having girls over. Because he has a big ass house. He, definitely he has managers that are def, def, definitely he has managers that probably worship the devil and all that other shit. All these big streamers like Kai Sinet, Aiden Ross, AMP. Mm, you know, all these other big streamers on Twitch, they definitely sold themselves to the devil. Not all of them, but probably some of them. Or they know someone that sold themselves to the devil. Sold themselves to the devil. Because why, why doesn't Kai Sinet want to say there are two, gender, two genders? Why doesn't Kai Sinet want to say, oh, the LGBTQ are fucked up? LGBTQ are d disgusting. They're Christians, right? They're Christians, right? So why is one LGBTQ? Doesn't make sense, does it? I know Aiden Ross said, oh, he, 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 he got removed from Twitch because he said, and after that he was going on a rampage saying there are two, there are two genders, like the LGBTQ and all the, and all the other shit. But he, he still, that's still not going crazy enough. You know, the only thing he said was two genders, which is not that crazy. It's a fact. There are two, just there are just two genders. It's not that crazy. But after that, he sneaks smoking, bring, probably bringing girls over, and he's trying to make Charleston White sell his soul for a kick deal, like a fifteen million dollar deal, bro. This is what food bro, this is what the food this is what the food tube situation is bro similar to that but this Charleston Wang and Aiden Ross situation is crazy but this Aiden Ross guy he has turned himself 
in the devil, bro. He was slowly improving, doing like boxing training. After that, he quit doing gym. After that, he quit doing lean. And now he's doing now he's doing a random shooting with Charleston White, smoking lean, bringing girls over, probably bring bringing girls over, and all that other shit. Has the only fan models in the, in the mansion. Like, fuck. Like, the guy hasn't changed at all. You know what I'm saying? The guy has not changed at all. One of the moral of the story is Aaron Ross is a piece of shit. He's a devil worshipper. Charleston White literally escaped by a thin layer. He al- he literally almost went into the devil t- devil zone. But he escaped. And yeah, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to join my dis- Discord server linked in the description. Don't forget to click my link tree. All my social media is gonna be on my link tree. It's about goviers.